Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over UTM tracking parameters in LinkedIn ads. So I'm going to show you what they are, how to set them up, um, take a look at things like their dynamic parameters that are now available in LinkedIn ads. And by the end of this video, you should have a, a good understanding of what they are and how to use them in your account. So to start off, um, what are UTM tracking parameters? They're little text snippets that you add to the end of your URL that can help you monitor your website traffic. And you can use them to monitor performance in other third-party apps like Google Analytics 4, GA4. You can also use them to pass information into your CRM. Say someone fills out a form on your website, you can pass that the, the lead came from LinkedIn, that it came from a paid channel, and you can send along other parameters as well. So in LinkedIn ads, you can add them to the account level if that's available. It's not an option in all accounts right now. You can add it at the campaign level and at the ad level. I typically recommend adding it at the account or campaign level. If you add it at the ad level, you'll have to do it to each ad and you'll have to pin the destination URL with the UTM tracking codes. So just for an example, we'll go into more depth into each of these parameters. But if I had um, my website here and I added uh, these UTM parameters, UTM underscore source equals LinkedIn and UTM underscore source equals CPC, that stands for cost per click. You could put paid there or another value if you like. So if I want to add these parameters into LinkedIn ads, if I'm going to do it at the account level, you're going to go into your campaign manager and then go to account settings. So you'll click account settings and then you'll go to URL parameters. Now, not all accounts have this option, but you can paste in your the tracking codes that you want to um, track. So you can put all your parameters in here, save it. Then it will be applied to all your ads in your account. And if you're using these dynamic values, it's going to update per the campaign, per the ad, so you don't have to change it for each um, ad in each campaign. And if you're gonna add it at the campaign level, during your campaign setup, right after the ad format section, you'll see this URL tracking parameters, and you can paste those parameters in here. So that's an option. And if you're gonna do it at the ad level, you'll have to add a question mark, because that's gonna add all the parameters after the question mark, and it won't impact your destination URL. So for this example, you would put like UTM source equals LinkedIn, and you would add all your parameters after the question mark, and you would have to do it at the ad level. That's why I recommend doing it at account or campaign level. So that's how you would add them to account. Let's go through an example of how this works and how you would actually be able to utilize this. So again, for this example, if we had these parameters, so say someone clicked my, we set this up in the account, someone clicks an ad, a LinkedIn ad that I'm running, and then it goes to the landing page. And you can see when it goes to the landing page, it's gonna show the UTMs in the URL. So then um, if you have GA4 set up on your website, for example, GA4 is gonna track those UTM parameters. So if you were to go into your Google Analytics account, you can go into like the traffic acquisition um, report and then you can filter uh, the report on session, source, and medium. And then you'll see LinkedIn CPC for those parameters that I put in there. So again, I put in the, for the UTM source, I put the value as LinkedIn. And for the UTM medium, I put CPC. So I see those in my GA4 report. Now with third-party tracking, not everything's gonna be accurate. Some of the parameters might drop off based off of the user's browser settings. So it might not be one-to-one, -one, but it does give you some visibility to where the traffic is coming from to your website. And then you can look at uh, metrics like, you know, engaged sessions, average engagement time per session, and understand how uh, this session source and medium is performing on your website. So that's one example there. Now. It, as another example, as passing the information into your CRM, say a user clicked on an ad, they landed on my website, and say I had a form on my website that collected the first name and email. And on that form, in most form setups, you can add hidden fields. And hidden fields are essentially just fields that you can't see, they're on the back end of the form and they'll read what's in the URL and then they'll store that information 
And then when a user submits their form, it's going to pass the values that were put in the hidden fields into your CRM. So let's say someone visited my website here and then my I had a form on there and they put their first name and email in the form and then the hidden fields on the back end of the form, they see that the user came, the source came from LinkedIn and the medium came from CPC. So it stores that information in the form here. And then when they submit the form, the information that goes into the CRM, say it's like HubSpot or Salesforce, you're gonna get the first name, the email, and you're gonna get the UTM source and UTM medium uh, in your lead details. So you can see that the lead came from LinkedIn and from CPC based off of the values in the parameters that were added to the URL. So I know that can be uh, kind of complicated if you're new to UTM tracking. So please put any of the comments in the comment section and I'd be happy to help you out there. And to go into dynamic parameters in LinkedIn ads. So dynamic parameters are really great for, uh, they dynamically insert values into your parameters so you don't have to change uh, the value each time. So for example, if you add UTM campaign, this value, this parameter right here, UTM campaign equals, and it has these two brackets, campaign name. These are the dynamic values that LinkedIn supports. So if you add that to say the account level, anytime someone clicks an ad, it's gonna dynamically pull the campaign name from the campaign. So you don't have to add it at the ad level for each campaign and configure it manually. It's just gonna dynamically insert the campaign name there. So I'll put this link to the dynamic parameters so you can see it um, on the LinkedIn support. But you'll just wanna make sure that if you're using these dynamic values that you use the exact taxonomy here. So it's all capitalized formatted. So in this example, I typically, if you're just starting out, some great UTMs to add to your campaign are source, medium, the campaign name and for content, uh, you can do the creative ID to see which ad someone clicked on and match that up with the creative ID. So to do that, uh, the UTM source and medium, those can be static. So I just type in LinkedIn and CPC stands for cost per click. You can add another medium if you like, like paid PAID, just to know that it's coming from LinkedIn paid and not like LinkedIn organic. But this just means that it's coming from a, a LinkedIn paid campaign. You can also put the medium to video if you're running video ads. So you can adjust those values for the parameters as needed. And then I have the UTM campaign that's gonna dynamically pull the campaign name. And then I have the UTM content that's gonna dynamically pull the creative ID. So what this looks like when you add all these UTMs together, um, all these parameters together, you're gonna use the and sign here. So uh, I have UTM underscore source equals LinkedIn and UTM underscore medium equals CPC and UTM campaign and UTM content. So whenever you're adding multiple parameters, you'll just wanna connect them with the and sign. And then you can take this string, for example, I'll copy this here. And then I'll go into my campaign here and I'll just paste it as that. You don't need to add a question mark. Um, once you save this and you're running ads, when someone clicks an ad, it's gonna automatically add this string of text after your um, URL. So it'll look like this here. Someone clicks an ad, there'll be a question mark automatically and it'll add all those parameters after your URL. So that's how you would set those up in the account. Um, and also just a note is they don't have to be UTM parameters. Those are parameters that are supported in things like GA4. But if you're passing things just to like your CRM, you can have other parameters that match up with a field um, that you specify in your CRM. So for example, you could pass like account ID and have the account ID automatically um, pulled in from the dynamic parameters here. And then you can have that sent to a field in your CRM that matches the account ID.
So not everything just has to be UTM, but the, the standard UTM parameters that are supported in like other third-party analytics tools like GA4 are UTM source, medium, campaign, and content. So that's how you set everything up. Um, if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comment section. I can always make a video in the future going into more detail if there's a specific area that you're confused by or need more help with. Description of this, I'll put the dynamic parameters, a link to that. And then, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. So thanks for watching and have a great day.